the Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rains fell and the floods came and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Today's readings just fit together so well, and especially when we began, you know, Tobit and his wife began their marriage together in prayer because they recognized that their marriage was the result of God's blessing. And so, in order to thank God, they gave themselves back to God through giving themselves to each other. And that's, as you know, is what you're called to do as a couple. Father talked about in the homily about how we always want to hold some little part of ourselves back and not give everything to God, to have some little part of us that's independent, that says, no, I want to do what I want. And we all know that, that feeling. I'm sure you've encountered that struggle in your marriage and your baby, you know, no, I don't want to go do that. I don't want to get up again. Or I don't want to go make supper. I don't want to give up my plan because she needs me to do something. We, we all do that. And yet that's where God calls us to learn how to say that yes to him is through the yes that we give to each other. The yes that you exchange here today is the beginning of so many yeses, so many opportunities to give yourselves to each other throughout your married life. Sometimes it'll be hard, you know that already. You, you've experienced that, I know. All couples do. And that's why we're here to get God's grace, His blessing, His strength, like Father talked about, so that we can do with His help what we can't really do on our own. We can't be as giving and as self-forgetting as God wants us to be on our own. We're just too stubborn, too sinful, too selfish. But with God's help, we can do all things, as St. Paul says. I can do all things in Him who strengthens me. And so we're here to ask for God's help and His strength his blessing, and we're here to say thank you for the blessings that you have, the blessings of this beautiful baby that we're going to baptize today, the blessings of each other and the family who's gathered here before you and the family who's not here. So many people have brought us to where we are, and we remember them all, especially those who are no longer with us, and we thank God for them, and we pray to be such a blessing to those who are ahead of us, to you beautiful daughter and any other children that may come, that you will be the blessing to them as well. And that's why we have to stand on the block, because otherwise we'll wash away. But anchored on that rock, we won't. We'll hold fast. And that rock, of course, is Christ, and we know that Christ gave Peter the job. He made him the rock. So we cling to the church as well. Because the church is our mother that helps us. And that's why we're here to ask for his help. And so now, let us begin the rite of marriage. My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community. God abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism and now enriches you and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intention. 
Krista Renee Richard and Lane Michael Fornerat, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. You repeat that to me. I, Lane, take you, Krista. I, Lane, take you, Krista. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Krista, take you, Lane. I, Krista, take you, Lane. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May God, the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, men must not divide. Amen.